This is Jen O'Hanlon with Point B Realty, and I am here at Atria Restaurant. And if you've ever been to the island, you, you've probably heard of it. We're in Edgartown, and uh, they've been open for 19 years. So this is Greer, and she can tell you a little bit about the history of, of how she came about to own the, own the restaurant. Great. Thanks, Jen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is our 19th summer. We're so happy to be here. My husband Christian and I um, opened in 2000. Um, and would love to tell you a little bit about our menu. So we have a couple different atmospheres. We have the upstairs main floor, which is like the Tria experience typical. And then we also have our brick cellar bar, which is uh, kind of, we're kind of famous for our burgers. We have a couple here to tell you about, a couple cocktails. And uh, we'd love, you know, love you guys to come in and try it. So right here we have uh, the McRip Off. It is what we say uh, the way a Big Mac should taste. Um, it is two all beef patties with special sauce on a sesame seed bun. Um, it's fantastic. And then here we have a fish burger. We do have non-meat options. Um, this is our homage to Leah Chase, who recently passed away from New Orleans. She was a really fantastic chef who we've worked with before, and she's wonderful. This is a cod sandwich, fried cod, with a remoulade, which is like a spicy mayonnaise. Um, shaved, uh, shaved lettuce and uh, tomato. Our buns are important too. We don't skimp on the buns, so I think that's one of the one of the staples of a good burger. So the Frenchie is my favorite. Oh, thank you. Which, that's, what is, what is, has yeah, that's with the caramelized onions and Gruyere cheese and I'm sorry, Saint Andre's cheese. Yeah. Um, so I like that one too. That's a popular one. Yeah, and then we have a 12 or more burgers on our list: beef burgers, veggie burgers, chicken burgers. We even have the Impossible Burger for vegans that want to come in and, and be a part of our, of our burger menu, so it's pretty fun. And then we have a couple of cocktails tonight. This is our Fig Fizz that I've already enjoyed a little bit of. Um, and then and this is made with bourbon and fig jam, um, canton, and a little bit of um, lemon. I'm going to show you actually our drink menu. This is the Sound of Waves. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We made the Savage Detective, Savage didn't we? Detective. Yeah. We made the Savage Detective. This is um, this is a play on uh, a favorite of uh, some favorite flavors that we found in Mexico on a vacation, and it's um, tequila, pineapple, agave nectar, just some real fresh, um, a real fresh take on sort of like a margarita, but I think even better with some micro cilantro and stuff like that. So our cocktails are important to us, and um, we hope you come and try them. Okay, so we've heard about some of the famous burgers at Atria down in the Rick Cellar Bar. And um, there's the upstairs though, right? Yeah, so um, the regular Atria experience is more fine dining. Um, it's not stuffy, but it is upscale, and that's upstairs on our main floor. Um, and we serve, uh, you know, fresh seafood, amazing cuts of meat, fresh homemade pastas, tons and tons of options. So um, that's sort of the meat of our business is our main floor. And then we also have the patio, which is fun. That's um, in the summer months from July and August. Really fun, kind of in between the formality of the main floor and the bar. Um, outside on the patio, we even have a pizza oven. Kids running around on the lawn. So a little bit for everyone. Thank you, Greer, for all of that excellent Thank information. You, Jen. And now that you know a little bit more about the institution that is Atria, um, we wanted to tell you that this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to do. And they're going to get really interesting. We're going to do some behind the scenes um, videos. And Greer has some great ideas. Um, they have a lot of seafood. Obviously, we're on an island. and. Um, where they source their seafood is really interesting. Um, any other thoughts on? Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Jen. You're very welcome.